takes place in medieval Scotland. The main conflict in the story is between Macbeth and himself. At first, he wasn't sure whether or not to kill the king so that he can become king. But his wife encouraged him to do so, and he did. They both became riddled with guilt, and eventually, uh, Lady Macbeth dies. But in this next scene, Macbeth and his friend Banquo encounters three witches who tell them about their futures. In this clip, there's only one witch, but that is just because I have a limited amount of friends. How's the wife? Oh, she's doing well. Whoa. Uh, is that like a dude or a chick? Uh, hey, can you talk? What are you? Ah, oh, hell, Macbeth. Hell to the thing the glamorous. Ah, oh, hell, Macbeth. Hell to the thing the Caldor. Ah, oh, hell, Macbeth. Thou shalt be king hereafter. Hell. 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 Uh, well, what about me? Lesser than Macbeth and greater, not so happy, yet much happy. Thou shalt get king, thou though be none. So ah hail Macbeth and Banquo, Banquo and Macbeth, ah hail. Dude, if it's right, you're going to be king, and your sons will be king. Hey, where'd it go? Macbeth, you are now Thane of Caldor. <laughs> what? But Thane of Caldor lives. No, he died recently. What? Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Macbeth decides to kill the king to ensure that he becomes king. He wants to frame the servants of doing it. In this next scene, Macbeth had just murdered Duncan. He's still holding the dagger he used, and his hands are covered with blood. He's afraid to frame the two servants, so his wife does it for him. Who's there? It's just me. The screams? Yes, I heard them. They were horrible. When? Just a little while ago. Why? I can't believe I killed him. I can't believe I killed him with these hands. One of them screamed murder. And it, and it woke the other one up. But luckily, they just, they just said their prayers and they went back to sleep. Don't worry about it. Why'd you bring the dagger? Go up there and friend them with it. I, I can't. Wimp! Be careful, honey! I will! I, I love will. you! I will! Macbeth is worried about the witch's prophecies. He's worried about Banquo's sons being the next kings, so he hires some people to murder Banquo and his son. Wow, great prop by there he is. Banquo. Oh, I know, I saved him loaded. Arr! Where's your running winds? Run! Uh, uh, uh. Later on, Macbeth sees Banquo's ghost while he was at dinner with some Scottish noblemen. Macbeth is scared that he will lose his power since Fleance is still alive. He then visits the witch and they tell more prophecies. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn at it. Sound about cauldrons. You hag, what did you do? A sin that has no name. Tell me. If would you rather speak to my three apparitions? Fine, show them out. Alright, the first one's named Dave. He's an accountant. What? Ooh, I'm Dave. Macbeth. 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 Beware Macduff. Beware the thing of them. Dismiss me. Enough. Macbeth. 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 I'm a second apparition. You can tell by the different color half. Be bloody, bold, and resolute. Laugh through scorn. The power of man. For none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Hello, I'm John, the third apparition. You just hired me right now. Alright, let's go. Macbeth shall never vanquish until the great Baron Linwood to hide us in hell shall come against them. Does that look good on the application? After learning that Macduff had fleen to Malcolm, who has raised an army, Macbeth ordered his castle to be seized and his family to be murdered. Macduff decides to join Malcolm. 
Lady Macbeth has gone crazy with guilt and has started to sleepwalk. She ends up dying, which caused much grief to Macbeth. As he is looking at the army approach, the first half of the prophecy came true. The army had shields made from burnham wood. He then encounters young Seaward, who duels with him. What is your name? You don't want to know my name. You can't be the one I hate most. My name is Macbeth. You are the one I hate most. I shall kill you with my sword. I'm at thee! Macbeth and Macduff encounter each other on the battlefield. They duel it out, and towards the end of the duel, there's a plot twist. Macduff, Macbeth, I'll kill you. The voice is my sword. That's what she said. I will not yield to you! You don't want a woman to kill me? <laughs> you forgot one thing. <laughs> I'm not a woman born. What? I was cut from my mother's stomach. That's blasphemous! And C-sections. 